Mayor Foster? How are you? Pretty good, thank you. I present you with the torch of life. Well, and I thank you for that. So I understand that this is, it's the 10th anniversary since it's been uh, blessed by the Pope. Almost. Almost. Uh, We're going to go, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, um, it's September 5th, actually. And and you're two weeks into this? Uh, day 14, yes. Yeah, right. and three days to go. Disease. And basically what we're hoping is that when it does get, uh, when comprehensive care uh, does get passed, uh, it'll, what will happen is people will, uh, suffering with sickle cell disease, will have care and treatment mm -hmm. and be able to carry such things as bracelets or Bonnie's got uh, a diabetic because he's a diabetic. If something should happen to him, uh, you know, someone could read his uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then bring him to a proper place to yes. give him care. That doesn't exist for a single cell right now. So the mission of this torch, by the way, is after the Pope blessed it uh, almost wow. 10 years ago, uh, he also, uh, besides saying that organ and tissue donation was a genuine act of love, uh, he also said to let the kids carry the torch because they're going to inspire the work of the world. And that's what we've been doing the last 10 years on our campaign. Mm -hmm. by sickle cell, you're right, you don't hear that. No, you so, don't. So reading it, probably from your website, what is it, 5% of the population uh, has the genetic predisposition? Yes, <coughs> that's correct. So that means that uh, at any point in time, if there isn't education and awareness uh, yes. brought to the uh, public, uh, it can get out of hand, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is preventable. Yeah. Uh, so, so we need the tools, we yes. need the resources, and, and we need this comprehensive care pass mm -hmm. you know, to, to prevent that from happening. The relationship between uh, the torch and what we do at sickle cell is, is that people suffering with sickle cell disease can have their life saved through a bone marrow transplant, which a lot of people don't know either. So we're bringing that uh, to light as well. It's relatively new. Uh, the first one was actually done at Sick Kids uh, a couple of years ago. And, and so now it's becoming more aware, but we're still noticing in Canada, uh, Canada doesn't have sickle cell as one of the illnesses listed on their registry, bone marrow registries, that can be saved. And that's gotta change, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, because doctors that are treating uh, you know, kids or adults that, that have sickle cell that have the potential of, of getting your life saved through a bone marrow transplant, their doctor can't search the, right. uh, the registry right. because they're not listening. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so we're, we're trying to make this an international thing as mm -hmm. well so that all the countries in the world uh, could start adding sickle cell in their bone marrow registry as well. No, that's great. So, you know, I've been again for you to be raising the awareness of it. You know, so certainly I've learned stuff uh, today. And just by virtue of you being here, uh, you know, to, to look up as to what you're doing. Um, That's uh, exactly how you got involved in this. Sure. Um, about five months ago, uh, my chairperson, Constable Ojo Tiobadi, approached me and said that, you know, we have to put sickle cell on the map. Uh, for almost two decades now, they've been trying to uh, get their disease recognized, and they haven't been successful. So they, they, he asked me if we can lend our charity. Uh, which is step by step, and this uh, famous torch uh, to bring more profile to this uh, uh, disease. And, and what I did was I organized a 17 day uh, run from Ottawa to uh, Queen's Park. Uh, actually, we started at Parliament Hill, and it was very symbolic to start at Parliament Hill because a bill got tabled there just a few weeks before. It's Bill uh, C605 by Kirsty Duncan, MP Kirsty Duncan, tabled that bill. And, and in that bill, it provides uh, comprehensive care for sickle cell. So we're hoping if that gets passed, if that bill gets passed, then as a result of that bill getting passed, uh, comprehensive care will come to can Canadians. And, and I twisted my knee uh, on the second day and I've had to use this cane hobbling along. Uh, and we've never missed a, a, a beat or a step or a schedule. We've uh, you know, been able to still make it despite that last week of terrible uh, cold, and, and you know, we somehow made it. I have an awesome uh, road team, uh, 
the Shane uh, Gentles and, and also Don Moreland over here, they've been watching my back and filming at the same time. So you've got to watch for their documentary. It's going to be a, a very inspiring tool. Now, why did you personally get involved in this? Personally? Uh, I, I'll make it right to the point. I see no color. I, I, I know that you know kids, adults have been suffering with this. I don't know anybody personally. Uh, and, and I don't have no relatives or anything like that, uh, but I've seen the suffering. I've seen the suffering and I've seen that they don't have no care whatsoever. And, 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 and to see that in our country, in our great country, these new Canadians that don't have no care, I think it's something that any Canadian would do, you know, uh, despite what color you are, because and, and, I don't see no color. I see people suffering. And, 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 I, and I've seen a way how to hopefully make a spark to make their lives a little bit better. So that, that's really why I did it. And, and, and the, this torch, uh, when the Pope blessed it, you know, he said, uh, bring this torch wherever you can, because it'll bring hope and it'll inspire people. And he opened up a lot of doors for us. So by bringing this torch, uh, we're hoping that, that we're going to open up a lot of doors for Sickle Cell. Sickle cell is something we hear about in the United States quite a bit. You see a lot of ads on TV promoting it. Why not in Canada? Uh, because they haven't gotten to the level of, of, of having Canadians recognize how serious this is. And that's why I mentioned uh, that it's like the runt of the litter. Uh, just like you know any other disease that had to fight at the beginning. That It's the runt right now. we got to fight. We gotta fight to get recognition. We gotta fight to get people's attention. We gotta fight to make them understand. You know, you just can't have it come to you. You have to go out and get it. What's the ultimate hope that you have at the end of this run? Uh, run, walk, hobble, whatever it's going to end up by, by the time you get to Queens Park. I'm really hoping that we're gonna hear the news that, that C605 will get passed or that a, a speedier passage will be done by the uh, province of Ontario to develop a similar bill. Uh, <clears throat> since I received the liver transplant, and you know, I wanted just to give back, and, and also when the Pope blessed this torch, he set me off on a mission. When did he do that? On September 5th, 2001, uh, I was doing something similar back then, except I was going across the country. It was a 12,000 kilometer trek. And halfway into my trek, I'm going to run for organ and tissue donations. And then halfway into my uh, campaign, I got a call from the Pope, well, the Pope secretary, asking me to come to Rome, because he was watching my campaign as I was going from community to community. Right. And I, he asked me to bring the torch, and I brought it. He blessed it at Vatican City. It's been tough. I yeah. got, you know what? Yeah, I, I, this, this has been a tough one on me. I don't know. I, I, I mean, uh, maybe this will be the last one I can do. Maybe that's what it's telling me. Yeah. But I've done similar ones before, you know, much longer, much. I've gone through two winters in, in one of the, uh, you know. Uh, that's why this one's so tough. I don't know. Oh, I didn't train properly for one thing, <coughs> and, and yeah, my knee went out, my back went out, my you know, and. In this part of the event, um, I try and encourage uh, everybody here to support what we're doing, uh, and I, that's obviously shown by coming out here. Uh, but we're also trying to get this bill passed uh, that was tabled uh, about a month and a half ago by MP Kirsty Duncan. Uh, it's a bill that would bring comprehensive care for sickle cell, and it's much needed and long, long, long awaited. So we're hoping that you might be able to also get the local MP in this area to support it as well as the MPP uh, because uh, we're also going to try and, and get a more speedier passage uh, done uh, possibly by the provincial government. Uh, M uh, Mayor uh, Dennis Staples from Smith Falls, I don't know if anyone here knows him, uh, he's, he's taken the torch to the Roma conference. And, and there he's going to make sickle cell his main issue. 
and he's going to try and persuade everybody there at the conference as well as the conference in London uh, to join him uh, in a, uh, uh, at a municipal level uh, to uh, you know, support this very need, needed cause. And, and also he's going to sit down with uh, Health Minister Deborah, Deborah Matthews uh, to hopefully encourage her uh, to uh, duplicate the uh, federal bill and maybe make it a speedier passage uh, through the Ontario Legislature. Um, and We're uh, incredibly proud to be here today with you and uh, on behalf of uh, the City of Oshawa um, and the members of Council and Citizens of Oshawa, it is my pleasure to welcome you, George. Uh, step by step in the world-renowned torch of life to our community is one of the many stops on your journey from Parliament Hill to Queen's Park to bring awareness of sickle cell anemia. Uh, the famous torch was blessed by His Holiness Pope John Paul II and the dedication of the step-by-step -step charity is a beacon of hope and a testament to the t determination and commitment to the end of this disease and to promote organ and tissue donations. So on behalf of the City of Oshawa, we thank you very much for coming today. Deeply humbled, thank you. Thank you.